Hello everyone, my name is Anton Pelcher. I'm an engineer and I've been building fish farms for more than 10 years. Today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic. Why does fish and wrasse get sick? What are the fatal errors that can lead to death or even the whole stock? Can these problems be avoided? Today we'll discuss 12 steps to reduce your risks to almost zero. And if not to zero, then to the very minimum. Let's go! Why is security measures generally needed at RAS farms? The answer is probably obvious. The reason is that fish can get sick. If fish get sick, you will need complicated treatment, which could cost you a penny. And also, the fish, while you treat it, will not grow or even lose weight. Secondly, the fish can simply die if the recirculation of water in RAS stops for some reason. And you will not only lose your profit, but could even suffer from some losses. Be sure to watch this video to the end to avoid this happening. And we will start with sanitary security. The first adequate thing to do to increase this type of security is to buy healthy stocking material. Purchase it from a farm only when you are sure that healthy fry is grown there, that there is no infection, no diseased fingerlings. Secondly, it's advisable to first stock the fry to special quarantine tanks, which are not connected to the main rest system. Keep the fingerling there for at least a week, preferably two weeks, so that if they suddenly head sick, you will be able to see that within a short period of time. The next essential thing. It's basic sanitation at your farm. Well, what is that? It's the disinfection mat at the entrance where you disinfect your shoes. There are the special gowns you change into when you enter the farm. It's the sanitizer you disinfect your hands with before you enter as blocks and departments. And God forbid you put your dirty hands in the fish oil and tanks. These are some basic safety rules that will simply ensure that you don't bring infection and contaminate fish. Next, it's not to bring any infection from the pond. The greatest chance of introducing an infection is if a person has been somewhere on the pond during the same day and then entered the rest farm without changing clothes. As a rule of thumb, if a person has been to any pond, it's best not to let him inside a rest farm within 24 hours. If he is allowed in, he should be fully disinfected, shoes and hands, with a complete change of clothing, and so on. Just observe the basic sanitary rules. Try not to cross lava, fry, grow out fish in the same systems. That's the ideal. But if it's a small farm, of course, as a rule you have one facility. And you have to keep different generations of fish in the same system. But if it's an industrial farm, try to provide for separate level block. Fry department, grow out fish department. Let me reiterate. Separate blocks. These should be different. Independent rest systems. The next important issue is the engineering security. What is that? First of all, it's electricity backup. It's no secret that electrical power outage might take place, especially if your farm is located in a suburban area and the farm can stay without electricity supply for a long period of time. If water recirculation in rest stops, your fish will die within 30-60 minutes. Therefore, be sure to put a backup generator that will automatically switch on in case of such failures. Reserve water supply. You need to have a 100% guarantee that your farm will be supplied with water every day, every minute, consistently. Therefore, either provide for two water sources, which could be a borehole and a central water pipeline, or two wells. Or if you have one water source, for instance a borehole, think of at least one reserve water source that you can supply water from in case some problems occur. Standby pumps and blowers. What can fail? What can ruin the entire system? A failure of any pump or blower, of course. If a pump stops, the entire water circulation in RAS will stop as well, and you already know what will happen. If a blower stops, your biofilter will stop operating. Therefore, be sure to have at least one backup unit included in the system in addition to the main water circulation pump as well as to the blower, which supplies the biofilter with oxygen. Next, take care of standby oxygen supply unit. Imagine you have only one oxygen concentrator or generator, one source of oxygen, and it suddenly breaks down, fails. What will you do in case you cannot supply oxygen to the oxygenator? So, the next important step is to put a backup oxygen source. For example, instead of using one oxygenator or oxygen concentrator, you can provide for two with a capacity reduced to 50% or 70%. You will already have some backup. Even if one breaks down, the second will partially supply the fish with enough oxygen to leave until you repair 
they are the first one, but still, it would be perfect to provide for standby unit with 100% capacity. Next is the duplication of rice units and modules. If you have a small farm, it's evident that it's cost-effective to have one rice system and operate it without any complications. But if it's a large-scale industrial farm, it's a significant mistake to install one recirculating system, because if something goes wrong, and sooner or later it will, the whole fish stock worth hundreds of thousands of US dollars will be at risk. That's why it's better split rest into several independent systems – incubation, level block, fry department, grow out fish department. Secondly, even larger departments, as grow out fish one, should be divided at least into two independent modules, and these rest lines will work absolutely independently of each other. And in case something goes wrong and equipment fails, you will be able to transfer fish to the other one. Disinfection of makeup water. Makeup water is constantly supplied to your farm. If it's supplied from a borehole, that's fine. If the borehole is deep, normally doesn't contain any pathogens. But if you supply makeup water from an open water source or a shallow well, it can contain a whole bunch of pathogens. In order to avoid introducing this contagion to your farm, you should definitely install ultraviolet or ozone water disinfection. The last thing is probably the monitoring and alarm system. Even if you have the major units duplicated and the technological process is organized correctly, something can still go wrong. And it's not the fact that your staff currently present at the farm will be able to deal with it, react promptly enough. It's not a fact that the accident will be not noticed, and I have encountered a lot of situations when the operator has just overlooked, missed some accident. So, in order to prevent this from happening, it's recommended to install a system of sensors that will notify, including by SMS and by calling, all responsible persons, in case something deviates from the norm in your RAS or some unit is out of order. And finally, a bonus for my subscribers. Following the link below, you can download the sanitary and technical safety file, which explains a little bit more about the issues that I have covered in today's video. By the way, all the technical aspects of operating and designing RAS you can see on my channel. Look for the relevant video, a separate one to cover each topic. Mechanical water treatment, biological treatment, oxygenation – you will find everything. Be sure to watch! Today we have talked about the main aspects and steps which should be followed to reduce the risk of any emergencies, fish diseases and death to almost zero. If you liked this video, press the like button, subscribe to my channel. This is Anton Pelcher and my channel on how to grow fish and make good money from it. Bye!